Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be part four and the last part of my Band 39 video nasties. So as well as screenshots from these editions, I'll be talking about how much I paid for them and how much you can expect to pay for them in today's market. Some of these ones are, uh, you know, some not really cheap, but some aren't that bad. Not as bad as some of the ones that I've shown in previous episodes. So if you're here and you're a fan of Video Nasties and you want to see more Video Nasty Mayhem, I urge you to get across to the channels Double Bill Movies, run by Trev, and also Bumpers Movies, run by Craig. Between their channels, they're in the process of reviewing all 39 of the band Video Nasties, the Section 1 ones. So I urge you to get across to there. And hopefully next week, will be the next part of the Video Nasty live stream with my co-host Rock God 2004 aka Nige. So keep an eye out for that and we can't wait to start doing the live streams again. Hopefully they'll start to progress in, them in a more timely fashion because they've been sort of on hold for quite a while but we're trying to get them, well I'm trying to get them going a lot quicker than they have been. Anyway, so let's see what these nine are. First up in 1978's Mardi Gras Massacre. This is an amazing release. This is released by 88 Films. And the backstory behind this, this release is that there was some kind of problem, I think, with the, the audio in here, the music. For some reason, it's just disco music all the way through. It's quite bizarre, actually. And ignore this. This is a great um, sort of villain here, but he's not in the movie. This movie is crazy, by the way. So this film was put back loads of times. And to be honest, I didn't think it was going to get released because of this rights issue, I think, with the audio, which is quite nuts because I can't understand why anybody would stop, want to stop this music going out. Well, you know, I'm thinking that's what it is. So I was contacted by my good friend Dan in America, and he said he had a copy. Would I like it? I was like, I can't believe it because you can't get this anywhere. And actually, there was a few on, online, and they were going for a lot of money. So... Dan sent it across to me, and I got this months before it was actually uh, out in the UK. And I didn't know whether to put it out to talk about it because of the fact it was out. I thought, am I getting some of it that somebody might, might be a bit throwback to the video nasty where you have something and then somebody's knocking at your door saying, hand over that, that item of um, contraband. So anyway, nothing like that happened. And uh, I was treated after this, uh, Dan sent this over to me free. And also he put an amazing uh, postage on it to get through. So I want to I want to thank Dan once again for giving me the uh, the pleasure of owning this movie because this movie is really so bad it's good. But that's one of the charms about the movie. I heard that this movie was so bad it was bad. You could not watch it. It was just an absolute load of rubbish. I beg to differ. I think this movie is so, so much fun. It's ridiculous. And actually... If you know Blood Feast, it's kind of like a remake of Blood Feast with zero budget. The effects are absolutely ludicrous. The, the, the ridiculous, you've got these people getting sort of like cut open. And you can plainly see that it's just a dummy. And it, you can see the end of the effects. You know, the, the dummy ends, the dummy skin ends, and you can see the fact it's not even joint or anything. And also, I'll show you a picture of this. On here, you actually do see one of the crew you know, with a clapperboard, and they they are like they've obviously done the clap, clapperboard and they're walking off out of the shot, but you can see them walking out with a clapperboard, and they didn't cut that out of the movie. I just can't believe it. But I really enjoyed this movie. I can see why it was banned because it in the gore scenes, which it does repeat the gore scenes, you know, the three or four gore scenes it's got, it's the same scene, it's just shot again, if you know what I mean. It's the same effect. But anyway, I think this movie is such a good, good, good watch. And I really enjoy it. I do recommend it highly, even though a lot of people say it's one of the worst ones. I don't agree at all. So I didn't pay anything for this. So that's amazing that Dan did that for me, especially at the fact he probably could have put an eBay for a lot of money, but he didn't. He chose to give it to me. So got to thank you once again, Dan, for that. If you want to buy this now with the slip, because honestly, I like this cover. I think this cover is really good. I think it's a great cover. And I've seen this cover loads of times. But this slip cover is absolutely incredible now you can see it sometimes in hmb it's not kind of out of print yet i think when it goes out of print this will be going for big money so if you want to buy this one now it's around about 17.99 and you can get it on amazon it does guarantee the slip with it 
and it's yeah it's well worth of the slip you can also get it from seven as well they've got a blu-ray across the water but it, that's about 23 and i don't think they sell the slip anymore so if you want to get the slip i do think that this is the best version for me the print on here isn't the best of prints it's acceptable in places it's really nice in other places it's quite grotty but that's just the way it goes with these movies don't know where this movie was kept you know when it was like put on the shelf somewhere god knows but the fact that this actually exists is, is just amazing. And I want to thank, like I say, Dan once again for thinking of me and sending this across to me. So that's the Mardi Gras Massacre. Next up is 1968's Knights of the Bloody Apes. Yes, you heard that right, 1968. It, this movie is great. I think this is one of those movies. Yes, it is absolutely so bad it's good. It was released by Nucleus. This is UK DVD and actually from a DVD. It looks quite good. It's not the best of prints. It's another one that's got like one of these ones that needs to be a good remaster. I think someone like 88 could do an amazing job on this. So the short story of this movie is that this guy here, his dad is a heart surgeon and he needs a heart transplant. So he gets a heart from a, a gorilla, as you do, and he transplants it into his son. He appears to be quite normal. He'll always put a load of muscle on and he's also got a monkey mask face. So there you go. It's obvious, isn't it? That's what happens. But this movie is crazy, it's funny, it's very gory. For 1968, it's probably one of the goriest things you'll ever see. So I paid £16 for this DVD. I couldn't find this on Amazon at all. But on eBay, you, for the DVD, you pay £17.99, which is quite a good price. And also on eBay, you can get the Blu-ray of this version of a £22.99. I'm quite tempted to go for the Blu-ray, actually, because I do really like this movie. But it's a laugh a minute if you like them sort of things. It's really low budget and there's a lot of like really crazy things going into it. But I really enjoy this movie. So that's Night of the Bloody Apes. Next up is 1980's Night of the Demon. This was a movie that always looked awful on VHS. I couldn't believe the quality of it. I mean, I got a fifth generation copy off the VHS and it was un it was unwatchable. You couldn't see what was happening in, in the, uh, the end of this movie where you do see this demon. I think the demon's more like a Sasquatch. And I love this this edition from 88. I can see that there. I can see that, yes. And also you get them things in there. So that's a great little touch. This is a great set. Now, I do urge you, to get to try and find this two disc set because you do get everything in it you get a poster get a booklet get two discs get loads of special features and actually like i said that this movie looked awful on uh, vhs actually on dvd it looked bad as well but this movie here looks really good for what it is on blu-ray i think that the the best thing about this movie is to see it actually properly after seeing it on like bad editions all the time of until I've seen this one, I've never seen this movie properly and I had such a good time with it. The only thing I'll say is that this the creature they've got for this, the demon, is actually brilliant. The suit they've got for him is really good. I don't know who they've got playing him, but he's a right say uh, he's like Arnie, this this fella. But do keep an eye out for him, because when you see him in the end of the movie, I wish you'd saw more of him. But I think it's a great special effect how they've got him the way he looks. This movie I think a lot of people, I don't know what people expect something from Video Nasties expect World of War gore. Yes, there's a lot of gore in this. There's a very uh, memorable scene of somebody uh, relieving himself in a bush and uh, losing some of it in the process. So I paid for this forty ninety nine. Sometimes you can still get an HMV. You can't get an 88 site. They've taken it down from there. Where the slip, should I say? Although you can still get it for £15. But I would imagine sometimes you can get this in CX run about the same time. So you look at the price. So you're looking about £15, but try and get a slip because this is, you know, something you've got to have in this condition, I feel. And also it's about £15 on eBay. Now, this is another one where you want, if you wanted to get this movie, because that's about £15 for this really good, the best ever version of this movie. Now, if you want to get the VHS of this, it costs you a fortune and it would look like trash. So there's a there's a big there's quite a few things to say about collecting a VHS, and I mean you might think that this when I tell you the great the grand total for all this you may think wow that's a lot of money, but if you were to buy all these on VHS you would be paying ten times amount of what you're going to have here, and also you wouldn't have this quality and you would have the way that the tapes could be broken they could like snap and they would they'd be perished because it would be forty plus years old, so there you go. So anyway, that's highly recommended. That's Night of the Demon. Next up is 1981's Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. 
This is another one that was really hard to get on VHS and DVD and Blu-ray. Actually, it's still hard to get because I got this one myself for $8.99. But if you want to buy it now, on Amazon it's $34.99 at the minute. But in CX you can get around £15. So it pays with all of these to shop around. Don't take these figures as to say this is exactly what you're going to pay for it. But try and think of this as the worst case scenario. I keep saying that. And I think that you'll find that you'll, with, you know, patience, that's a good thing to have in this game. Get some patience and try and get this for the, le the least cash. I'm not saying, hey, this is available, get it now for £33. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that, you know, there is, if you're desperate for this and it's the last one you need, you might have to, you know, f you know pay £33. Because some of these I paid quite a bit of money for, but I knew I was just wanting them for the collection. I was prepared to pay that. But don't be surprised if some of these go up in price and don't be surprised if this comes down again. Now this came out in 4K by Synapse in America and it was a lovely edition but of course it went out of print very quickly and it goes for silly money now. But do know on the 30th of January next year it's going to come out again by Synapse on a like a sort of standard edition but it's got a slip case so I think I'll be going for that. Because this movie it doesn't look, abs it doesn't look great I've got to say it's always looked very grimy. And I'm I'm quite all right with that. It's got one of those. It's a 16 millimeter uh, movie, so it's never ever going to look great. But I'm interested to see what the 4K looks like. And don't forget, the 4K has got extra footage in. This is the longest version at the moment. They had some bits and they found them, but I think they've got some extra bits and put them into this synapse one, which is like the best ever version. Like I say, I like this movie that much. They, I'm definitely going to go and get it. So that's another one of my favourites: Nightmares and a Damaged Brain. Next up is 1975's Snuff. Now this movie is one of those ones where the title is just, it like blows your mind. Because it purports to be a real life snuff movie, but it's not. It's nowhere near, well not that I've seen one, I wouldn't want to see one. But this one is nothing, it's not that, it's not real at all. Now, I can't imagine anybody think this is real. Because what they did was, they got this movie called The Slaughter, or Slaughter. And it's kind of like a Charles Manson movie. And they went and got that movie and they cut the ending off and they put this other ending on. It's supposed to be a, a, an actress from the movie who looks nothing like that because obviously this is a different movie. And you'll see it from a picture that goes to this like camera crew. They're in this room and they film what is supposed to be a real movie like that. And at the end of it, they just grab the cameras and run away. There's no credits or nothing. So it's crazy. This DVD was sent to me by my good friend Nige. Rock God 2004. And you think, you think to yourself, who on earth made this one? Because, as you can see, there is nothing that tells you who has made it. Now, this one is made by Blue Underground. And the only one, it, I love the cover of this because it does really say what it is. It makes you feel like you're getting something really wrong like this. The only one I can find that, that's like that is the amazing Pink Flamingos. Here's a criterion which is put out in a, a brown paper bag. Because these movies here, they could be sort of like bedfellows because, well, not the, nothing I like, but it's the fact that they are so grubby, the pair of them, that you think that they belong in a... Imagine a double feature with these ones. Mm, there you go. There's a lot more to Pink Flamingos than this one. The movie itself, I think, is quite a good movie. It's not It's not bad. It's not a great movie. And the, the main talking point of it is the fact that this real life footage at the end is supposed to be, you know completely believable it's not it's you can see a mile off it's not real but anyway i don't know i think it was more the fact that people were putting this tape around back in the day and they were saying you never but you're gonna guess what maybe the copy was that bad and you couldn't see it but it was probably word of mouth that got this movie this reputation it had and this is one of the ones that really fell foul of the senses because there's nothing really in it it's not that bad it you know it's got some bits in it but i've seen a lot worse than other movies i think it's just because the fact of it purporting to be this so if you want to buy this movie on amazon on dvd it's 22 pounds and on blu-ray and it, you know i'd like to get the blu-ray update of this because it's i don't think the update would be too much but i just like the fact that owning this one on blu-ray i think it's such a kick in the teeth to people back in the day who wanted to keep this away from you even though the movie's not a, you know a classic and the blu-ray at the moment is 33 pounds 73 and also as a side note, on eBay at the moment, this is get filmed on the 4th of December 2023. So if you're watching this in the future, this is long gone. It's actually on eBay at the minute for 99 pence. It's getting sold in, in Tyne Weir, which is where I'm from. 
and the person who was selling it this has put it on for 99 pence and it's still live and i think it goes to thursday of this week so get yourself over there maybe bid on this because you know you might want to get yourself one it might be a lot cheaper than 22 pound but if you don't go past 22 pound because you can get a brand new for that price off uh, amazon so be lucky that's snuff next up from 1976 is ss experiment camp now this one had one of those covers when that was put out there people just thought you know mary whitehouse would have saw that and thought right that's got to go so this one is fairly gory it's got some scenes in it which you know wouldn't sit well today i can't even believe that this came out when it was talking about coming out i thought it's got to be cut and it wasn't and i thought this is nuts to think that this type of thing with these covers as well is actually getting released in the uk it's it's quite it's still quite baffling but yeah so this movie here it's got your typical like you know experiment and all that they get people experiment and for whatever reason well watch what they're trying to do what it turns out is supposed to be building this super race but what they're trying what they're actually doing this common commandant is i've talked about this before it's so funny actually when you really realize where this is going he's being injured in war and let's say he's lost something you know so no he's lost two things now what happens is he realizes that this this when they're building the super race there's like one bloke there who's kind of the best at building the super race we so thought i'll tell you what i'll do i'll just take those couple of things off him and i'll get them sewn onto me now this the end of this movie is this fella's trying this commander is trying to get them things off him for himself it's so funny it sounds well it's not awful because it's just like made up but it's so funny when it when it clicked with me that that's just what the story was i thought this is brilliant so i never ever expected to see this in this movie but that's another thing with the the video nasty sometimes it can really surprise you with what they do so this movie here cost me 8.99 well if you buy these on on release that this is what this is uh, the best thing about them i mean i know this was released quite a while ago so this movie seems to be out of print at the minute on amazon it's 29.99 it's a bit expensive you can get this in cex for 18 pounds and also ebay for 15 pounds so you can't get it cheaper than that and sometimes these movies seem to go like the stupid prices and then they'll come down again so don't be surprised if this one will come down again in the future hopefully because i don't think these are out of print i don't know if these are out of print actually on the 88 website you might want to take a look at that yeah so this is a good this is a good this is more like a comedy movie yes it's got his violence in it but yeah it's got this that story then you've got to see it to believe it so that's ss experiment camp next is 1982's tenebrae this is an amazing film from dario Argento. now this is giallo it's one of the best giallos out there it's hyper violent which is great but the devs actually what i said the devs the other day when i watched something i just want to watch a good old giallo which is quite into giallo giallos because you know it's just like a murder mystery and i'd said i didn't say actually i did say this before i said by the way this is a section one video nasty she says i'm not watching it i says well it's not that bad and it is just see how you go with it and actually she loved it she says really good she's a big fan of giallo but i'm gonna have to start and you know up the ante a little bit and get into the more like not violent violent ones but you know ones like this because you'd be missing out if you didn't watch this movie it's absolutely incredible this 4k as well this 4k set it's it's amazing when arrow do these it's just that's the way you've, you've got to go with them for me they just look amazing on the shelf plus it's dario argento so what is not to like about these type of things so this version cost me around about 35 pounds which i think is going to go for a lot more than that unfortunately so that's another thing if you see ones they're going to release it you know it's a video nasty it's going to be a spectacular edition just get it you may think oh it's 35 pound but 35 pound now will probably be you know not hundreds but you know like 80 90 pound in the future at least so you've got to uh, future proof yourself by doing that if you're not bothered about the packaging you can get the standard version of this 4k for 15.99 got no slip on it mind and it's a great version i mean it's, it's every, everything you get bar the sort of packaging on that version and it was also released by sign ups for 56.58 which is a bit pricey but it does look like a nice release although i think that this one is better i think probably using the same prints though but really really recommended and like i say the devs had a great time with that and it's but as dario gentle goes when he does a good giallo he does a great giallo so that's tenebrae 
Next up is 1975's The Werewolf and the Yeti. This comes in the Paul Nashi Collection, Volume 2. Now I paid £55.21 for this, and when I looked at it on eBay now, it's 47 34 roundabout. I think it's round about the £47 mark, £50 mark to get this. The only good thing about it, you can say, is it's got five movies on here. So you do get kind of value for money, even though it's really only for that, only after that one, which is the only one I've watched. Now, although I know this was region free on here. This is from Scream Factory. But I think the other ones are region locked, unfortunately. I was quite surprised to get it with a slipcover. It's a beautiful slipcover, and you also got a booklet in as well. So it's one of those ones where, for whatever reason, you cannot buy this separately. Although the booklet doesn't want to come out in a minute. There it is. You cannot buy this separately. It would be great if you could, but you can't. And there's also a DVD knocking around with it, but I think the DVD is quite expensive as well, and it won't be anywhere near the quality of this. Now, I'm saying the quali quality in here is good. It's not great. I know that this one has always looked ropey, and I've never, ever seen the VHS. I'd never seen it till I got this version because it's just that hard to get a hold of. But it's a, it's a great movie. It's obviously got uh, Paul Nashian, who does the uh, the character of the werewolf, who's called Valdemar Donansky. I think he did 13 of these werewolf movies, believe it or not. And it's a laugh a minute. It's it's actually one of the tamest video nasties, because when I watched it, I thought, where on earth has this been banned from? There's a few gory things in it, you know, people getting the throat stripped out. But there's a lot of stuff where you think, really? But the, the thing that they talk about where it did get um, banned for, which, you know, I've got to be careful about what you see on YouTube. Somebody gets uh, an aggressive kind of torture method used on them. It's, well, it's it's not that bad, actually. When I looked, I thought, is that it? But anyway, I did like this movie. I love I love Paul Nashi. I love his werewolf movies. I do want it. It'd be lovely if it got that whole ones in a box set. It'd be amazing, that, wouldn't it? But, yeah, it is what it is. So this, this one's going to be expensive. It doesn't look like it's going to come. It's been out for ages. I think you can still get a slip on it. It's got another collection, which has got a Section 3 um, video and nasty on it, which I'll have to get one time. I don't know if you get the cover on that as well. The slip on that one, that's about 50 quid as well. But, you know, some of these ones, you are going to pay big bucks for it, and you've got to resign yourself to thinking not all of these are going to be cheap. If you're lucky, you'll get them cheap. But if you're kind of, you know, not lucky, or you're just going down the, the normal ways, you will pay, you know, your cash for them. But once you've got it, you've got it, and that's good enough for me. So that's The Werewolf and the Yeti. And lastly, in the Section 1 39 ban video nasties is 1979's Zombie Flesh Eaters, or Zombie. This movie is amazing. I love this movie. This is the Arrow version. This I, bought, I paid $8.99 for this one. I did have, and I think only paid about $90.99 for it. I did have the white box the, the uh, big double edition of this one, same big double edition, that actually made that the light, the last white box edition, window edition, so that could, you could get it with the other ones. I did have it. I did sell it to pay for my drums again, and I wish I didn't, but I did, and that's just waited. The other disc on here, on the, the double disc, because this is just a single disc, it's got, it's got, it's got extra extras, not nothing, nothing like too amazing. So I can live without it. But anyway, this is a great day, uh, Blu ray. I knew I had to get it again. So before the 4K came out, 4K came out, I got this on Blu ray just to watch. And then the 4K came out, which I think is just absolutely incredible. This is the Blue Underground 4K. The slip is embossed as well. It's got everything going for it, this release. The picture quality in here is absolutely stunning. You, this movie is shot outside mainly shot like an, an island and, and it, it looks sensational anyway I mean this this looks great as well what I'll do is I put a couple of screenshots up the first one you'll see is the blu-ray and the second one is the 4k now in this one you get the 4k in it and you get the blu-ray which is this 4k was 2019 and the 4k is from 2018 uh, sorry the blu-ray is from 2018 so it's slightly different quality but it's still a good blu-ray but I think this is the best Blu-ray if you want to buy it. Plus, it's nice and cheap. It's in the UK, easy to have. But this one, it's like I say, it's region free. But it's it's just the zenith for me for this movie. Blue Underground. When they do something, they do it well. You will know that when you get the transfer for Blue Underground release, it is the best you're ever going to see this movie. 
this movie is obviously filmed in 35 millimeters so they could go back to the original negatives they could take all the information off there and produce something that looked absolutely this movie has always looked decent but it just looks next level for me it's it's a movie that i can watch countless times actually when i'm talking about these movies and all the ones other ones i mentioned i could watch them again tomorrow or today they're just that watchable for me I always get someone out of them, I always enjoy them. And this one cost me around about the £30 mark, and I think it's still around £30, but you will not get the slipcover with it now, unless you go to eBay. And I don't know how much the one with the slipcover goes on, and I imagine it's more than £30. But if you can get it for £30 or cheaper, do pounds on it, because it's really sought after. And it's a love for me, it's a great um, slipcase, one of the best ones. And obviously with liking this movie that much, I had to get this on 4K. So that's Zombie. Or zombie 2 or zombie flesh it is so what i paid for these films here is 173 pounds 67 so that brings my grand total of all 39 section 1 banned video nasties to 613 pounds 54 pence approximately so once again thanks to everybody who's helped me out collecting these 39 movies i've had a blast doing it and don't forget i've spread all this cost over many years it's not that just went out and bought them yesterday. So this money here, worst case, case scenario, is around about £613, or say £600. Try and, if you're starting out and you want to buy these all from scratch, just try and aim for £600 or lower. And if you spread them out, or you've got the money, wow, to go out, get them, and have a great time with them. I think these movies, for me, they are all really, really enjoyable. And I, they're from a bygone age, the 39 movies, they've got a tail behind them. They're not just something that's a kind of throwaway thing. Maybe they were when they made them, but they've, they've navigated with this video nasty uh, backing behind it to elevate them to a next level. So, thanks for watching. You take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.